Hi, I'm Scott Phillips, a farmer from Missouri. This is the Farrowin House, and that is where the pigs are born. Let's go in and see some pigs being born. This is one of the Farrowin rooms. When it's just born, and this has just been born less than 30 minutes, this pig. Um, when it's just being born, it needs temperatures in the 90 degree plus range in order to thrive. A sow needs a temperature about 65 degrees for her to be comfortable. So you have to provide two different environments in this one area. On the flooring, you can see the sow has cast iron. We put the sow on cast iron because it's cooler and because it's stronger. Then underneath the pig, it's plastic. We like plastic because it's thermoneutral. So we can keep the pig warmer, we can keep the sow cooler. We have these, these heat mats. So when a pig's being born, we like to get it on this mat where it's heated up and it gets warm. Once it gets warmed up, it starts nursing on the sows. From the time they're born to the time they come over here and they find the sows underlying and start suckling, it's, it can be in two or three minutes they're there nursing on the sow. It's just amazing how quick they're able to do that. In this phase, they will be with the mom about 21 days. And at 21 days is when we'll wean them. They go from about three pounds to 13 pounds in 21 days. The sows, they get pretty uncomfortable in high heat when they're just, just before they have pigs. So you want to keep the room pretty cool. It's almost 100 degrees outside and in here it's about 80. Uh, we run cool cells, so we cool the temperature down in, in this room. But we like to put the sows in a stall in here because the sows can have the pigs and the pigs can get away from the sow. So the sow doesn't lay down on the pigs, so the pigs have a place to roam where the sow is not. And that provides better comfort for the pigs, more survivability for the pigs this is the best system. The sows like the stalls like this. The pigs like having access to the sow but being able to get away from the sow. Another reason we like to keep the sows in stalls is because it protects me. Usually sows, when they're having pigs, can be very aggressive because they want to protect their pigs. One of the things I like about the stall is that you can provide the best care for the animal. You know exactly how much the sow's eating. The sow, we feed the sows individually. The sows have access to water individually right there. The sows have access to feed. We know how much we're feeding them. We feed the sows three times a day and make sure they have fresh feed. They've gotta have fresh feed. It's a balanced diet of corn and soybean meal along with vitamins. When the sow's lactating, it requires a lot of energy. So the sows have got to eat, and they eat something like 16 pounds a day, and it's all going to milk for the pigs. There's three guys in this room right now. They're in here probably 10 times in a day, observing the behavior of the sow, observing the animals, doing whatever needs to be done. When we wean the pigs, we move the pigs and the sows out of the room and the pigs go into the nursery, the sows go into the gestation barn, and eventually they're bred again there. After we empty the room out, we clean the room, we disinfect it, we sanitize it, and then a few days later, we move sows that are getting ready to have pigs back into that room. So they have a real clean environment in which to have pigs. Mm -hmm.